Hello student, today we are going to discuss Mason's gain formula. Mason is the name of the scientist who developed the signal flow graph. His name is S. J. Mason. He developed signal flow graph and he given an equation to derive the transfer function or total gain of the system. So here this is the Mason's gain formula. So this is the Mason's gain formula. Okay. For example, for a system or for a signal flow graph, let Rs be the input of the system and Cs it will be output of the system. So if Rs is input and Cs is the output, then the transfer function of the system is represented by Cs by Rs equal to this. Okay. Where n is the number of forward path, then that means how many forward path in the signal flow graph. Okay. Pi equal to Pi is the ith forward path gain. Del is the determinant of the system and del i is equivalent to determinant of the ith forward path. Okay. So, del is called the signal flow graph determinant or characteristics function. Since del equal to 0 is the system characteristics equation. So, here del is expressed by in this manner. Okay. Where we see del is equivalent to 1 minus sum of all individual loop gains plus sum of the products of the gains of all possible two loops that do not touch each other minus sum of the products of the gains of all possible three loops that do not touch each other plus so on. Okay. And del i is the value of the del for the part of the block diagram that does not touch the ith forward path. That means del i equal to 1. If del i equal to 1, that means there are no non-touching loops to the ith forward path. Okay. Uh, <coughs> This is our systematic approach. That means using this approach, we will calculate the transfer function of signal flow graph using Mason's gain formula. So in this approach, first we calculate forward path gain. That means Pi for each forward path I. Okay. Next, calculate all loop transfer function. And then consider non-touching loops two at a time. And then consider non-touching loops three at a time. And so on. After that, calculate del from steps two, three, four, and five. And last step is calculate del i as portion of del not touching forward path i okay so using this approach we calculate the transfer function of signal flow graph using masses gain formula okay so this is our first example hmm. so uh, here we see how we calculate signal uh, how we calculate transfer function of this signal flow graph using masses gain formula okay so Let's see. So, in this signal flow graph, there are two forward path. First forward path is this. This is our first forward path and this is our second forward path. Okay. So, here 
I have mentioned these two forward path. First one, first is named by P1 and second is named by P2. So, so the P1 is the P1 is indicated the uh, forward path gain. Okay, so P1 equal to G1 into G2 into G4 and P2 is uh, indicated the gain of the second forward path. So P2 is equal to G1 into G3 into G4. Okay. Next, here the two forward path that means C by R means transfer function equal to C by R and this C by R equal to P1 del 1 plus P2 del 2 divided by del. Okay. Next, we check how many um, loops are there. Okay. So, there are three loops. Okay. So, loop is indicated by L. Huh? So, in this signal flow graph, there are three loops. So, three loop is mentioned by L1, L2, L3. So, our first loop is this. Hmm. This is our first loop. Okay, and first loop is indicated by L1 um, and the loop gain is G1, G4, H1. Hmm. Uh, second loop is, second loop is this, this is our second loop. Huh? So, uh, loop gain of the second loop is minus G1, G2, G4, H2. Okay, next, uh, next um, third loop is this. This is our third loop and this th uh, third loop gain is minus G1, G3, G4, H2. Okay. Now, check is there any non-touching loop? Okay. So, in this signal flow graph, there are no non-touching loop. Okay. So, therefore, del equal to 1 minus sum of all individual loop gain. Okay. So, uh, this is equal to 1 minus, there are 3 loops, that's why 1 minus sum of all individual loop gain means L1 plus L2 plus L3. Now, put the value of L1, L2, L3, okay. So, after putting the value of uh, L1, L2, L3, del is this, okay. Now, now, um, we will find del 1 and del 2 because there are two forward paths. So, if we remove the first forward path, that means if if we eliminate this first forward path, okay, um, then actually we check. Actually, we check this forward path touching all the loop or not. Huh? So, this is our first forward path and we see this forward path touch all the loops. That's why del 1 equal to 1. Okay. Next, del 2. So, here also the second forward, forward path is touching all the loop. That's why del 2 equal to 1. Okay. So, uh, what is the transfer function? This is our transfer function. C by R equal to P1 del 1 plus P2 del 2 divided by del put all the values of p1 del 1 p2 del 2 and del we find this is our transfer function okay now come to the next example we take this is our next example so uh, first we check how many forward path are there so there are two forward path and and this two forward path is indicated by P1 and P2. So, first forward path is indicated by red line and second forward path is indicated by blue line. Okay. Uh, so, see here um, P1, the forward path gain P1 equal to G1, G2, G3, G4 and second forward path gain P2 equal to G5, G6, G7, G8. Huh. Okay. So, next check how many loops are there. So, there are four loops and eh? loops are identified by l so here l1 l2 l3 l4 is given that means there are four loop huh? so 
so here I have mentioned all the loop gain means L1 equal to G2 H2 L2 equal to H3 G3 L3 equal to G6 H6 and L4 equal to G7 H7 okay then check how many two non-touching loop is there in this signal flow graph huh? how many combination of two non-touching loop okay check the combination of two non-touching loop huh? so here we see there are four such combination hmm. okay so mm, first combination is l1 and l3 these two loops mm, you do not touch each other okay so here mention l1 and l3 so this is one combination second combination is l2 and l4 okay so l2 and l4 mm, do not touch each other so this is our second combination and third combination is l1 and l4 and fourth combination is l2 and l3 okay so there are four combination of two non-touching loop then check how many three non-touching loop combination are there okay so uh, here we see there is Mm, there is no three non-touching loop okay so here i have mentioned there is mm, no, no three non-touching loop okay so now we calculate del okay so del uh, what is the um, um, equation of del del is equivalent to one minus sum of all individual loop gain plus sum of the gain gain products of all possible combination of two non-touching loop okay up to this we have considered because um, here only two non-touching loop is there huh? there there are no three non-touching loop okay so that's why we consider up to this up to this means one minus sum of all the individual loop gain plus sum of the gain gain products of all possible combination of two non-touching loop so that's why del equal to 1 minus l1 l2 l3 l4 this is the sum of all individual loop gain and plus l1 l3 plus l1 l4 plus l2 l3 plus l2 l4 this is the sum of the gain product of all possible combination of two non-touching loop now put the value of this l1 l2 l3 l4 and l1 l3 l1 l4 l2 l3 l2 l4 after putting this value we find del is this okay del is this okay now now we calculate del 1 because del 1 and del 2 because there are two forward path that side um, uh, we check uh, what is del 1 so if we um, calculate del 1 then we check the first forward path uh, is um, we calculate so to calculate del 1 we check this uh, uh, we check the first forward path touches all the loop or not if the first forward path do not touch any loop then we put the summation of those loop which do not touch by first forward path so if we eliminate the first forward path if we consider the first forward path then we see this first forward path do not touch the loop l3 and l4 that's why we put del1 equal to 1 minus l3 plus l4 so after putting the value of l3 and 4 we find del1 equal to this hmm. now we calculate del2 okay so how we calculate del 2 so eliminate the second forward path and check this forward path uh, touch all the loop or not so here we see the second forward path do not touch l1 and l2 loop that's why we put the summation of this loop gain okay that's why del 2 equal to 1 minus l1 plus l2 because l1 uh, because these two loop do do not touch the second forward path so after putting the value of l1 and l2 del2 is this okay now 
now what is the transfer function transfer function is this ys by rs equal to p1 del 1 plus p2 del 2 by del so put the all the values in this equation hmm. and find this is our transfer function okay so student the rest part of this uh, signal flow graph we will continue in the next uh, video lecture okay so thank you today i will stop here thank you